So let's add some cameras now. Um, we click create cinematic and then cine camera actor. And when we press F, we should find this actor. So here it is. And I want this actor to be close to our angel girl. So first of all, let's give this actor another name. Great. Okay. So this selected here. Now I go into the details panel where it says transform location and exactly at this position, right click, copy this location data, go to the camera, right click at the same position and paste. And now the camera is exactly where this girl is. So that's a quick way to bring the camera close to what you want to shoot with it. So great. So this is a first shot. Let's go to the camera settings to the focal length. And for this first camera, we can keep it to 35 um, millimeter for another one for a close up. We we'll want to choose another focal length. Let's go to focus settings, menu focus. We can then select this girl. And also this will show us what's in focus and what's not. So that's great. So the girls are in focus. Um, let's go back to sequencer, drag the cine camera here to our girls. Where we have transform, we add a keyframe at the very beginning. We let it run for a second. And we bring the camera. We move it now with the location tools on the transform tools on the right. Bring it a little to this side. And now adjust the rotation a little. So we were at minus 89. Let's bring it to minus 90 degrees. 91. 94. 97, even more, 101, <laughs> even more, right, maybe one more, okay, great, now we can add another keyframe here, with comma and dot, we can switch between those two keyframes, so let's have a look at our first shot, um, we need to select this, here in the small window. Great. And when they are here, you can go back with the camera again. Also with this angle, let's go to 90. Perfect. Add another keyframe. If you want to see this picture in full screen, we can right click on the Cine camera actor and pilot the camera and then we can see it like much bigger. Okay, the feet are still on the ground. It's this is like this is just work. It just needs need time to adjust this in the curve editor. That's a little more advanced. We will do this in another tutorial. Um, but it should also be, this video also should be like an overview about the animations, right? I want to add one more camera, one more cine camera to the scene. So create cine, I will wait, let, should we do this here? Yeah, one more here. Cine camera actor. So, aha, cool. It's already here very close. And, um, let's rotated a little so we see one one of the girls at least so now we set the focal length to 200 so that would zoom much close much more closely into the scene so but we can go further away and bring everything in focus.
So let's have a look at this. Um, where she is, bring her a little up. Cool, and this is a nice cinematic shot. I know the hair doesn't look so good, but the background is like really, really br blurry. I like that. So, and let's add a keyframe for this ca camera. So, no, first of all, we have to drag it into the sequencer here. Transform, here's the keyframe. So, and of course, she will go go there and what we can do now um, for this camera is track actor look actor to track is angel so I think this is the second one so usually what this should do um, so we have to enable this it should follow the character, <laughs> but it doesn't do this all the time. We have to set the relative offset higher. Uh, interesting. Now it's not doing it. So it has to do with the animations, uh, with the kind of um, how the animations are set. And um, okay, t to be honest, I have to figure this out in this in this special case. So sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. I know it has to do with how I got the animations into the Unreal Engine. Um, so, and for s in 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 some way it it works, uh, but let's do this now a little more like this that we just adjust the location here. Add another keyframe, see how this one works. Mm -hmm. So a shot like this, like a close up shot is obviously for a movement like this also not the best one. And we also have the other cameras already ready for this. So I would say I just wanted to show you how it looks like with the other focal lengths and with the blur in the background. We probably make this in another, for another character. It makes much more sense. Um, okay, um, so but for a very short frame, it's also funny. Let's go to the next characters. Aha, for here, this will make a lot of sense. So like, that's funny that she's in front of the purple thing here. Create cinematic, cine, camera, actor. So with this one, I select it, press F2, cine, V, camera, actor. So this V, because this is V here again, select it between location, copy, go to the cine camera actor here and paste the location. So now it was exactly where she is. It just a little the high. And I bring the camera more into this direction. Um, a little further away. W, let's go a little over here. And now over there and a little higher and also here adjust the focal length to what about 150 yeah great so with the um, with the eye the eye line that's interesting that's how i created the characters using character creator um so let's go to focus manual focus selected the face and here it is nice so that looks nice and the shot is a little from high to low so the camera's a little low angle to her i think that's nice because he's bigger and looks down to her and let's go to where they are start to move so we at the keyframe oh first of all at the camera to the sequencer then where it says transform at a keyframe 
Yeah, maybe we can just leave the camera here. Because she goes back, we don't need much more shots. Maybe we can bring the camera a little further here that she's like on the right side of the picture. And yes, we can add another camera like here from the side. And you know what? I don't want to make this tutorial too long because probably if I add like all the cameras in it, if I make all the details, it would be probably three hour long. Um, but I give you a quick impression of what I mean. So let's turn it around. No, that's wrong. That's, it's always with 3D, like finding the right angle and position in the world. This is why I like this copy paste location feature. Yeah, this makes it much easier. So let's show the rotation now. Where are the two guys? Bam. Mm -hmm. So this is a shot I would I could imagine that that'll be great. And of course we have to adjust the focus here as well and so on. But I would love to go on with the next characters. So they should be in focus now. And also want to have another camera on his face because here he looks so so do with this um it's not a tattoo i think it's just makeup you know like fighter makeup we can make oh that's so funny that this has so much purple light on her body didn't realize it before it's stronger than the sunlight that's interesting so so we can make so many cool shots, right? With the camera, we can also position a camera like here, right from the very bottom. If we want to give him like this hero position. Yeah, maybe we have to go closer to this. Come on. Mm -hmm. We can also position her for the shot. Now, okay, okay, well, there are so many, there are so many possibilities, right? And of course, we will, um, um, I will add another camera for, for Tim here. And I will add another camera for the soldier. But I, I, you already know how to do this now. Um, I want to show you my final result, like after another 30 minutes um, now and if you want to learn more check out the link um, in the description below I have much more detailed and more relaxed tutorials on this and um, you get also exactly these characters and also exactly these animations if you sign up for this I will continue to create more characters and more animations as well so thanks so much for watching enjoy the showcase now and see you next time